Hey, brothers and sisters, friends, and uh, everyone else. This is Junior Savala, and uh, I wanted to uh, do a short review today of the uh, Skyler uh, KJV Reference Bible in black grain goatskin, as you guys can see right here. Um, I'm doing it on my phone. I did it on my iPod, but for some reason it was not letting me upload it to uh, YouTube. It kept on saying that it was an error uploading. So I'm going to do a quick review of the uh, Skyler uh, King James reference. Um, and I'm going to compare it a little bit to uh, the uh, the Allen uh, Long Primer 53 in black uh, Highland Goldskin as well. So hope this will bless all of you. Uh, this is uh, by far uh, the only two uh, premium Bibles uh, made by a company today that I have. The, I have the Long Primer and I have the uh, Skyler KJV Reference Bible. Uh, and I also have an Abba bound uh, by Abba. And I have another one on the way. So, but right now, this is the two premium Bibles that I do have, and I'm very happy with both of them. But let's go ahead and start the review. It, do, it does come in this beautiful uh, black box for storage. Uh, I'm still debating if I like to keep my Bibles in the box or out of the box. Uh, but sometimes, you know, to protect it from the, uh, the dust and everything, I do keep it in the box. So it comes in this beautiful black box so you can store it. Uh, this Bible is... Uh, the light is not that good, but this Bible is um, bound in this uh, beautiful uh, natural grain black goatskin. It's uh, it's a little thicker the the goatskin. I don't know if it's it is a little bit thicker or if it's liner, but it does seem a little bit thicker. If I'm correct, um, it does have uh, six hubs. They're not tool, but uh, they're not uh, raised, but they are tooled. You can see them beautiful. I like tool hubs. And raised hubs as well, but I think uh, for some reason I, I've been noticing that I like the um, tool hubs a little bit better. It does have the uh, Skyler trademark right there on the bottom in beautiful gold, and it has a King James Version, and it also has Holy Bible. Uh, on the front of the Bible, uh, as you can see, beautiful uh, black grain gold skin. It does have also the uh, blind stamp of the uh, Skyler cross there. A lot of people have said that it's a Jesus white cross and a, all kinds of stuff. I, I don't know, you know, I, I honestly don't know. It doesn't matter. I, I know who my Lord and my Savior is, you know what I mean? And that that's the bottom line, you know. Anybody could have a trademark. That doesn't mean nothing to me. So uh, the back as well, natural black, beautiful gold. It, like I said, it feels real thick. I don't know if it's the liner, but it's it has an amazing feel to it. Um, I'll show you guys it is perimeter stitched. The light is not that good, but there you see this perimeter stitch all the way around. As far as the yap, it doesn't really have a yap. I mean, it's a, it's about maybe a quarter inch or less, so it's it doesn't have a yap, but it's still beautiful. I mean, I do love yaps, but this Bible is far beyond beautiful. And so that's the outside of it. Uh, it does have three navy blue ribbons, just like the long primer. Uh, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. You know, I I, I do uh I. I I think it would have been better if uh, Skyler would have gotten their own color. Because if you look at the Bible, I mean, it, it looks, as far as the colors go in the mixture, it looks just like an Allen Long Primer. I'll put it right here, just so you can see. Blue, navy blue ribbons, uh, black on gold, and the red art gilt. And uh, they did the same here, so it kind of wants to look like they copied them. But if they would have put a different color of ribbons, they would have made it its own Bible, its own trademark. I think I would have liked either, well, red, you know, and Cambridge does that, so maybe not red. Maybe a gold or yellow would have been uh, beautiful, but uh, that's fine. <clears throat> the other thing is um, uh, the headband. The headband is white, silk. It's very similar to the R. Allen, but not the same. I, I have, um, it's not the same. You can see the thread, the way it's sewn and everything is not the same headband. One thing that I, I, I was not very pleased, but I mean, it's, it's okay, I can overlook it, is the ribbons. The ribbons were mounted on there uh, very, uh, may I say, not evenly. I mean, it, for the, the price of the Bible and for the wonderful trademark that Skyler is, or 
viable publisher. I think they, they could have taken a little bit more time on putting the ribbons on. The ribbons are twisted inside the spine. So uh, let me see if I could get this so you could see it. Uh, you can see right there how it looks thin. That's because it's twisted inside of the spine. And these two are kind of almost overlapping with each other. And this one's far away from the other two. So that, I mean, they, they didn't do a very good job on... on uh, Putting the ribbons, I mean, how hard can that be? I've put on ribbons before, and, and I mean, it takes a couple of minutes for you to align them correctly and put them right. But that's something that I'll overlook. The Bible's beautiful, so I'll leave it like that. I was thinking of fixing it, but I'm going to leave it like that. I mean, it's a beautiful Bible. It, different is okay sometimes, so I'll just leave it like that. Um, the uh, inside. The, the inside is a beautiful calfskin leather. Very, very thick calfskin leather. Beautiful. At first, it wants to look like if it's just plastic because it has, like, uh, very, very soft, very, uh, how do you call it, um, uniformed all the way around. But uh, you, you look very closely, you could see the little, the wrinkles of the, uh, of the uh, leather. It's a uh, beautiful, beautiful, uh, I say beautiful, uh, sorry about that. It's an awesome uh, calfskin uh, liner. I did verify that with uh, evangelical bibles not to mention names but yeah with beth and uh it says goat skin leather cover it does have a gold uh gilt line as well with a gilt line it is kind of it is not perfectly uh centered you could see uh well i mean you would have to look it up close but right here you can see that the gold kind of gets on the outer piece of the leather but like i said i could overlook that it's okay uh now in difference to uh, Allen, Allen, I mean, they they are precise with their with their art. I mean, with their gilt lines, with their ribbons, they are precise with it. They take their time. They and the difference. So, what would be the difference between this uh, Skyler and, and Allen? I think Allen. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. Allen is strong. Those Bibles are strong. They will withhold, but they're they're a little bit more uh, artistic. I mean, as far as as details go, Allen will uh will get on the dot i mean the the lines are look you can see that it's, it's a little bit lower and then a little bit this way Allen will uh will be precise with the lines i'll show you real quick look at this all the way across precise exactly where they're supposed to go and skylar they, they they it's a little bit uh different i mean they didn't do that you know but it's still beautiful. I would not take anything away from this Bible because of that. I mean, I'm, it's okay. That that doesn't... I mean, I could live with it. That's what I'm saying. So the calfskin leather, you can see right there. It's very beautiful as well. So well, how can I compare the two? I, I would compare Sky, uh, Allen. Like I said, it's still beautiful and strong. But I, I would compare Allen a little bit more uh, uh, artistic uh, and uh, to detail. It's still real strong, but as far as the details and the art and the luxury goes, Alan gets it. But uh, now, and then, like I said, it's still strong. But this one right here, the Skylar, is still artistic, but it's stronger. So you want it feels like if it will last longer, if it's stronger, more. Like if you could kind of mistreat a little bit and nothing's gonna happen. Now the Alan, I know it's strong, but it feels a little bit more delicate. Um, it is edged um, to the line. You can see right there the bump, edge lined. It has like a leatherette end page. Not bad at all. That's the outside of the Bible. Now let's go to the inside. The, it has, a, if I'm correct, it, oh yeah, it also has gold gilt and art gilt. It's made by John Blood. So it's like that a salmon uh, that you have on the Cambridge. Pinkish. It's beautiful. I mean, I wouldn't change it at all. I'll leave it like this because this is it's its own uh, trademark or Bible, can I say. I, don't, I wouldn't change it um, compared to the Allen. The Allen is uh, red, red. Well, no, I, I couldn't see it, but like a dark pinkish reddish, and you can see it next to the uh, to the uh, Westminster. The paper on, on the uh, Skylar is thirty two GSM, awesome paper, not as thick as the thirty six that the Allen holds, but it's still great. I mean, I think it's perfect. I don't see nothing wrong with it at all. The, as far as the block goes, the block is exactly the one that TBS used on their calfskin. Or if you get one, uh, Westminster from TBS, this is the exact same block. They did not reprint it. Jung, uh, Young, Jungblood uh, prints it. I don't know if I'm saying it right, or Youngblood, whatever you want to call it. But he they print it. So all they did was they printed it the same way that they printed for TBS, and they bound it in this Skylar 
um, beautiful cover. The paper is awesome, uh, as you can see. It has your text in the middle. It has references to the side. It has the uh, chapter summary right there. So, I mean, I love this text blog. I mean, this is a great study Bible, preaching Bible, whatever. I think this would be an anything Bible. And it's very strong. Some people had said that it, they, they didn't lay flat in the earlier versions, but this one lays uh, wonderfully, you can see right there. But... And it has, uh, it has everything. Now the presentation page, there it is, Trinity Bible Society. My wife gave me this. So, uh, I love my wife. She loves me. My wife gave me this Bible here. Um, it has scripture, 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. It has a couple of Psalms. And then on the back, it also has uh, white pages for notes, and it has maps. So I mean I don't want to get I don't want to get in too much on the text block because the text block uh, is is TBS. So if you have a Westminster, you'll you'll see the text block. But it has maps and uh, it has a real big concordance, a pretty good concordance. Uh, you can see right here concordance. And like I said, the the text is awesome. Look at the uh, right there. You got the uh, the summary of the of the chapter, and then you got your chapter starts. It's very readable, a little bit small, but perfect. And then you got all the uh, the helps on the side. It actually has, a, as you can see right there, it says uh, concision. Uh, and then it gives you a little uh, definition, mutilation, circ uh, circumcision. It's a great Bible. It has more uh, references than I have seen in another Bible. Well, besides the uh, Thompson chain, maybe, but I don't have one. So, But um, this is my short little review. There's the ribbons. Also, uh, on the bottom, they had the little strings coming out, like if it was glue or, or melted, whatever, but I did cut those off. So this is the review of the uh, <clears throat> Skyler uh, King James Reference Bible. I think it's one of the best uh, premium, uh, as far as the King James Version goes, Bible printed out there besides the uh, long primer. But I, do, I, I went with the long primer and the... Uh, this, the uh, King James Version for the Skyler because I think that they're two of the best printed Bibles out there in premium in the premium range. Maybe in the future I'll get an NASB or uh, yeah, I think I like the NASB a little bit better than uh, than the other version. So I, I like King James and I like NASB. So I, I might get an NASB or maybe a new King James Version as well. But for now, these are the two Bibles that I have. Hope that you guys like the review. I'll do a uh, a review of the Allen Long Primer next. So if anybody had, I know that there was no reviews on YouTube, a good review for the uh, for the Skyler. So here's your review for the Skyler. It feels great on the hand. Also, maybe like a local church bubble publisher is uh, real strong and and, and, and and the leather is awesome. So beautiful Bible. Can't go wrong with this Bible. Worth, definitely worth the money. Well, God bless all of you, Bible fans. And uh, comment if you have any questions or uh any tips on doing, like I said, I don't do, uh, this is probably like a, the fourth or third uh, review I've done. So if you have any tips for me, go ahead and comment on, please. You guys have a wonderful day.